Today I am in the bus and it is color war. It's red. I am in a red team and I look good in red, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, 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 uh. So this is me and this is what I'm wearing and I'm also wearing knee socks. And I love these knee socks. Like that. So today I'm gonna be donating my hair. So I'm gonna be taken out of school during lunchtime and then eating out at lunch. And then I'm gonna come back. So I'm gonna come to school with long hair and then come back with short hair. So it's just gonna be such a weird experience that I can't wait to do. It's like a roller coaster. I'm like really anxious, but I'm excited. I feel my stomach turning. Like I'm, are you excited for me to donate my hair? Yeah? I'm just, I, I'm, I'm excited. So right now we're doing a tug of war, but I don't really want to participate in it. Anyway. Hey Tess! Look who we got here! Hi! She's on a silver team. They added like two teams. Hey! My hair appointment is at 12 and it is 11.30. I'm like so anxious but like exciting. Also the fact that I'm gonna be doing something good and helping people is really nice. I feel like I'm actually like making a difference. That how much you're getting cut off? Below the elastic. No, above. Above the elastic, right. Yes. Feel good? I feel like it actually looks good with my face. Okay. Oh, I love this hairstyle. I never had it this short and I really like it. The rebirth. have to do. It's been one week since I donated my hair and at first I was really worried that it wouldn't look good. My hair's thick so I was worried that if I cut it too short it would be all poofy. When I was in fourth grade I actually had short hair. This was my hair during that time. Here's another picture of me. When I was that age I just, I did not care about my hair. I think I was too young to appreciate it. So it was very unkempt and frizzy. I think another factor was just that 
my face wasn't very developed. So like I still had like a baby face. I mean I still do, but I had more of a baby face. And it looked weird with short hair. And now I have more of a pointy chin and more cheekbones. But regardless, I was scared that it would not look good. But at the same time, it was very empowering because I was very excited. I wanted a new look. I was getting tired of my stiff, long hair with the split ends. It was getting hard to manage. So I felt like cutting off all that hair would just be very freeing. And it definitely was. When I was sitting in that chair, I was ready to basically chop off my hair. It also felt really good that I was helping someone because having short hair, if I didn't like it, it could grow back. When I got my hair cut afterwards, you could, you could see that I got it straightened. I didn't even like that day. My hair just wasn't frizzy, it was just straight. And then it got a bit less straight, but it still wasn't getting frizzy because I had a treatment put in. And after I did a shower, first time since my haircut, it did get a bit frizzier, but I know how to control it with frizzies. Not an advertisement, but I do use John Frieda's frizzies. I've been using it since I was in sixth or seventh grade. Anyway though, the process was very quick. We went to the hair salon and the person, she was so nice. She braided my hair into three braids as you saw from the video and then she just cut it off. It took two seconds for her to cut it off and then maybe like five more minutes to style it and then another like five minutes to get it straightened. It was very weird just holding my hair though. It was just so weird because I'd never done anything like this and this was like the most hair I ever got cut off at a time. I also noticed that my hair looks lighter when it was cut off because I think that my hair, I had so much of it, it was just weighing me down. And now, just having short hair brings out my natural highlights, which is very nice. I also feel like, now that I'm looking at myself, I do, I think I'll go with shorter hair because it frames my face. I feel more mature, I feel more grown up, sophisticated. And it was very fun to go to school right after and be like, hey, baby. I'm just gonna be like, Abigail! Cut. Wow! <laughs> anyway, for the information, if you're ever in Maryland and you want to donate your hair, do it at Style Salon, they do hair donations. The woman who did it, her name was Susan, she was very good. If you get her hair cut, ask for her. Great hairstylist. Anyway, that was my experience with my hair donation. And bye! It was very exciting and empowering and it felt great. Click on the like, click the subscribe. Click on the subscribe. Click on the like.